It was so nice. Good morning. It's half past seven. We're walking to the bus stop. It's 1.6 k's. And today we're heading to another country. We're Sarah and Mary, amateur backpackers who somehow managed to travel around Europe for a whole year for under $10,000. From working on sailboats to hitchhiking across three countries, our budget travels have been anything but boring. We're about to start a trip through the infamous Balkans, eight countries in six weeks. Can we do it? Subscribe to find out. Time to get on the first bus. <laughs> now it's very hot in South Africa, yeah. okay? okay? Yeah. Because that says 900 lakh, but here it says 410 lakh. So that's 1,300 already paid, but I just don't understand why there's two different prices. It's very nice looking. <laughs> mm. So, come. What's the seat number? Uh, 13. And your seat number? Sarande to Tirana. We've been going for about two and a half hours so far, so it feels nice to stretch the legs. It's not the best bus ride ever. It's pretty darn cramped in there. Well, this is always fun. When we've been traveling between, within Albania, between the different regions, we've been using these type of mini buses which kind of reminds me of our time in Georgia but I think that the bus we'll be using to go to North Macedonia and Skopje later today will hopefully be a bigger bus because it's really small and cramped in there and the bus is literally packed we cannot fit any more people in there <laughs> take a stop to switch arms <laughs> and now we're also checking how far we got to go to get to the bus station how's it looking nearly halfway already yeah wow okay Amazing, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay okay stations in Tirana, the regional one and the international one. We're on our way to the international one right now and in case you're wondering why we're not using a taxi or the bus, we actually had quite a lot of trouble a couple days ago and ended up using a taxi to get to the bus station and that taxi ride costs more than our tickets to Berat, which is like a four hour bus ride. So we're not using the taxis today but we're using this as an opportunity to stretch our legs between long bus rides. It's a win-win. <laughs> Another changeover. <laughs> yeah. Last stretch. <laughs> Let's do this. No way. I recognize this road. Are we where I think we are? Yay! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Figure out a way. 
the buses. Okay. Here. Okay. And for what are you doing video? I don't understand. Okay. Do you want to do this? What? Forward. Well, the, I don't know. To me, like, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. And I want to show people rather than just being like oh it's all fine like it's not okay it's something really not nice just happened to so you can probably tell we're not at the bus station anymore <laughs> there's very lovely music going on in here we're in a cafe the music doesn't really suit my mood at the moment because what happened at the bus station earlier was quite traumatizing for me. We arrived at the bus station and we tried to go and buy our tickets and we thought that the bus was leaving at four and they told us the next bus was only leaving at seven. So that's quite a few more hours to wait around and we weren't sure if they were just telling us that because their bus left at seven. So Marek left and went to go and find out from other bus liners what time their buses were leaving and I stayed there with my bag. Basically, I just ended up being surrounded by really pushy and rude people trying to get me to go inside and buy tickets. And the language barrier doesn't help. You've got people talking to you in a different language. They're starting to get a bit pushy and rude because I wasn't doing what they wanted me to do. And I couldn't see Marek and it just turned into a very traumatizing moment. But finally Marek came back and unfortunately the only bus we'll be able to catch is the one at seven. So we're here. At a cafe, we got some ice cream, I'm feeling much better. <laughs> Marek's editing. <laughs> and we got a couple more hours to wait until we can catch up with It's quarter to six, we've said goodbye to our cute little cafe. We're heading to the bus stop because we really don't want to miss this bus. And because of this change of plans, we were initially going to arrive at 11 p.m. But now we're going to arrive at 4 a.m. Huh? Hmm. Is it a little one? We were hoping for one of these buses. Which bus did we get, Mike? This one. <laughs> Damn. <clears throat> It's gonna be a long nine hours. That's the one we came here to Tirana on, and it was, <laughs> it was awful. We're really hoping for a big bus because it's much smoother and more relaxed. But these little, these little ones, like a merry-go-round in there. All our baggage is inside here, and it's locked. <laughs> but luckily, apparently, the lady is going to come soon and unlock it. I've never been so grateful for our travel snacks. We literally made ourselves little rolls and brought loads of snacks for this travel day. We've never been this prepared. I'm super grateful because it's even longer than we initially thought it was going to be. We're really bringing out all the snacks now. <laughs> Salami, Evan. <laughs> You're gonna take this. Whoa. On the bus. Ready to go. It's a bit more spacious than the last one, so at least we've got that for the next nine hours. We've just arrived at the border and handed our passports in. This has actually happened a couple of times. We don't even have to get off the bus. We just kind of hand our passports to a person. They take them all to get stamped and then they bring them back. So. It's pretty nice. We don't have to get out into the cold. I take that back. We all have to get out now and take all of our stuff out before we can cross the border. About 50 kilometers outside of Skopje, something strange happened. Our minibus pulled over and the driver instructed us to take out all our luggage and swap into another vehicle. Just a normal looking car. Looking back now, we probably should have asked more questions. That's oh, been cold.
things probably ended in one of the best ways possible. We've been dropped off right by a hostel. We thought we were going to have to walk a kilometre from the bus stop. But we're 